Hey guys, it's Chris from Cook Woods. We've got a really cool log that we're going to cut up today. Uh, really large diameter for the species. It's a nine footer and it grew really slowly and consistently. Really nice, finely spaced growth rings. It's got a big defect we're going to cut around. But this is an Osage orange log. And if you've ever seen Osage orange before in the Midwest, usually they're pretty small. You know, maybe a couple feet. Most of them are smaller than that. They've got these apples on them, they're called hedge apples, and they've got thorns and really a nasty thing. But we're gonna take this guy today and throw it on Slabzilla and cut it into some really pretty wood. So today we're gonna take this Osage orange and we're gonna turn it into this. Hey guys, it's Chris with Cook Woods. Today we've got a really cool wood that we're gonna mill. And I'm pretty sure by the end of the day, I'm gonna be a yellowish orange color from head to toe. And no idea how that's gonna happen, but the logs up in the deck over here, it's Osage Orange or uh, Boys to Arco. That's the Latin name for it, which I probably didn't do the greatest job pronouncing. But we'll get in the log loader and dig it out and. We'll put it up on Slabzilla and start cutting it up. All right, get the seatbelt on. sprinkler out again. Yes, I said again. <laughs> I'm still amazed at how big this Osage orange log is. It's honestly the biggest one that I've seen. It's four feet easily on the large end. The small end is still three and a half feet in diameter. Just a huge log. It's got a significant heart check and split that you can see through here. This runs all the way through the log. It's angled about like that right here. It, it's pretty much uniform all the way through. So this whole section from this low section here to about right here, this will all be pretty much waste wood or garbage and we'll cut it into something usable for the turners so we don't waste any of it. But that's, it's really good that this went straight because we've had some that twisted and then you lose pretty much everything that's inside of that for long lengths. You can still get short lengths, but this will be really good for getting longer lengths that are clean, that don't have that defect in it. But it looks like 
maybe 75, 80 years old, somewhere in that range. In the heart section, we've probably got five to six growth rings per inch, which is pretty nice. So there is some fluting in here. So these are bark inclusions. The tree grows around the bark. You can see these round little swales that come out or fluting and it's just going like that and it grows out and encapsulates that bark. So there'll be defects in these areas, but should be really good usable wood out of this. I'd say probably we get 60% yield out of it, maybe 65 and that'll be really good. The Osage log is on Slabzilla, and you remember that crack that, or the defect that went through the heart? I'm gonna point it out right here. I was able to get it level with the loader, so it's pretty level right there. But if you notice, the log's pretty fat on this end and it tapers and goes downhill. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eyeball level this so that I think that this split is in the middle of where the blade is gonna cut. Then I'm gonna measure it just to make sure. So I'm gonna lift the log right here. I'm just gonna eyeball it from back here. That's about level. It's a little bit low on this side. But we'll measure it. So that's about the middle at 24. Walk over here. So that's about 24 also, just to the bottom. That's about perfect. Right now, the Osage Orange log is on Slabzilla, and we're gonna do a few cuts here to break it down into smaller pieces, and then we'll take it into the 300 to get the quarter cuts out of most of it. So we'll mostly, the most important cuts are just cleaning up the outside. So we'll get rid of most of this stuff up here, and then we'll end up with a cutting camp that's right through here. We'll get quarter sawn right in this area. So about a 12 by six area, really good quarter sawn. And then we'll cut above that part here. We'll probably cut like three quarter inch pieces or one inch thick pieces through the middle here. And that'll help us eliminate waste because we can yield more off of a thinner board than a thicker one. If we got a thicker board in here, not gonna be much useful wood. So then we'll get that and then we probably, yeah, I'll probably have a piece about like this that we cut off of here. So six or seven, maybe eight cuts, and then we'll be off to the other mill. made our initial cuts we've got cuts down about right here which is going to help us to be able to process the rest of the log in a nice camp for the 300. Have you ever seen anything that's like this before? This is like fluorescent yellow. It's like the color of the lichen that we have on the juniper trees around here. Just not a color that you would anticipate inside of a log but there it is the whole thing it's like mustard yellow or lichen yellow. Not what I would have anticipated from Osage Orange. We made a few cuts off the top of the log and why don't you come on up here and we'll see what's underneath this. So we were cutting along just fine and then I hit something and I don't see any metal. Maybe it was just a little rock or a piece of gravel that was here. It just nicked it and it looks like one tooth or two teeth just kind of went a little low there and then it seems like it's cutting fine here so that's good we didn't lose a blade not good that we hit something but if we didn't hit anything 
We wouldn't be sawmilling. Just sawdust is just crazy. Pull off the four quarter boards that we cut off of here. I'm still trying to decide what to do with it. I'm just still fascinated with the sawdust. It's just this lime green, fluorescent, wild. Yeah, I'll probably just make another cut down, maybe 10 or 12 inches down. So we'll get a really good chunk of meat right there. We'll get some nice quarter sawn out of it. That'll be really nice. So we'll, we'll, we'll cut a cant off next. See what to do after that. getting any sawdust coming out of the chute so I'm going to clean out the exhaust side a little build up there So we took Slabzilla and we cut up the Osage orange log, got it into some 12 quarter slabs, it'll be pretty nice I think. Then we've got some bigger cans we're going to put on the 300. But it should be, should be pretty neat, we'll get the log loader here in just a minute and, and get it down. So Benny, oh my gosh, what is he doing? Benny, you're supposed to blow it the other way. It's even yellow up here. <laughs> oh, Benny. the first cutting cant on the heister, gonna drive it over, put it on the end feed, and run it to the 300, and see what we've got. Like that. So we couldn't see this inside when we were milling the log. This is uh, both ends. Both ends of the cant are nice and clean. You can see solid meat right through the center. And it looked like we had avoided this. Not so. Here it is. <laughs> so we'll, we'll just cut every defect out of that.
we've got it cut so that the quarter sawn wood is right here. Let's scrape a little sawdust off, see what it looks like. So that is really nice quarter sawn material. You can see the nice fine grain that goes through it. I only see like one little pin knot right here out of the whole nine foot section. That's really nice material. So this is gonna yield some acoustic guitar back and side material. We'll cut some of it at 7.30 seconds and 5.30 seconds for the sides and we'll get really nice material out of that. So if you're an acoustic guitar builder, this is gonna be really nice stuff and we'll have it on our website. So just look us up at cookwoods.com and you'll be able to see some of this pretty soon. So we've got the best material right here. It's cut for the acoustic guitar back and side sets and the ukulele sets. It's the best stuff out of the whole log. If you look at it, there really isn't that much material here. It looks like maybe we got about 76 or 79 sets out of the whole log. Um, probably half of those are ukulele, and the other half are acoustic guitar. But really nice sets that are quarter sawn, great color, beautiful grain. These are the two Osage orange slabs that we cut at 12 quarter or 80 millimeter. There's a little bit of iron that caused some staining there that's kind of unique. This one doesn't have it on the other side, but the other one does. But really beautiful. I would have expected a lot of knots in this, but there isn't. It's really nice, clear material. So this was a really tall tree, and we got the lower 18-foot section of it. This is one of the 9-footers but really clean, does not have knots everywhere like I would have expected. It did have a defect in the heart that we had to cut around. That was probably 20% of the log, but we'll still get some yield out of it, so that's good. But super dense, really beautiful, and I think everything at the sawmill is gonna be yellow for two or three months. There's just yellow sawdust everywhere I look. Thanks for watching today's video. If you liked the video, please hit the like button at the bottom and subscribe. If you'd like to see a video on anything, just let us know in the comment section and we'll see if we can put a video together for you. And if there's anything that you'd like in really cool woods like Osage Orange and the other woods that we carry, please look us up at cookwoods.com. Thank you.